time is going. Just as it's coming back. You can see what is happening in Africa now. The kingdom will stand against the kingdom. What is happening now? The issue of uh, people say they are fighting Nigerians. Yeah. This thing of fighting is xenophobia. This is not xenophobia. It's not xenophobia. There are people behind that. And people will just say, no, let's use this. In fact, me, I want to pray uh, for Zondo Commission to be strong. I just want to say Zondo Commission must be very strong. Christians must pray for, for Mr. Zondo. You understand? Yeah, because there are many things underground here that you never know. Hmm. And uh, I'm praying that uh, the justice must take its course. People that are wrong, they must be arrested. People who have man corruption, whatever, arrested. So that this country will be fine. Our borders here yeah, must be strong. Our borders. South Africa here is now is a zone of, of a crime. You can kill and run away. Because our zone, our borders here are not strong. But fighting people is not right. I'm sure you understand that. Is it right? Eh? It's not even right. Even if we justify it, it's wrong. But South Africa must, you know, because look here, our president is trying to bring people of business. So now this thing, which is executed by wrong people, there are wrong people underground who are trying to bring this so that it will be like, you know, South Africans, they hate their neighboring countries. I think politically, we need to stop to encourage the issue of saying South Africans are bad, politically. They are not. Because can you see what is happening here? It's triggering what is happening in Zambia, what is happening in Nigeria. So we need to pray, but we Christians, we must Stop talking it politically. Politically, it means this. We Christians, we cannot fight each other. Is it true? Huh? Is it true? Can you say, we don't want Christians from Zambia? We don't want Christians from Nigeria? There are some people here who are using politics here. So that it will be like, you know, now is Ramaphosa. Why it didn't happen by the time of President Zuma? and becomes dangerous like this. So I'm just saying this so that you people here, you pray. I'm not a politician, but I'm saying this so that you pray. I'm sure you understand that. Are you going to pray? How many of you are going to pray? Are you going to pray? I mean, how can you chase someone because he's from Nigeria or you've been a person what is your conscience saying? If you ever find someone running away, crying, and you are behind, and you are a Christian, and you want to beat that person, what, 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 what are you telling us? And then some people will say, I must say something. I will say, I must say, I've been saying it. You see, I say, I speak. I don't mind, I've been speaking that to be honest, we need to pray. How many of you are going to pray? You are going to pray. Yes. But also, listen, as we pray, you people you have not traveled. You people you have not traveled. If you want to see how far Africans are hated, you have not traveled. Go to Europe. Go to America. Yeah, you, I'm, you know, I'm even surprised the way blacks are insulting black, whatever. Go outside there. Because you are black, they can see you at the distance. You're there. And you're just saying, cho, 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 cho. You're coming there. 
Already they are asking where are you going and what are you going to do? Huh? Huh? You have got the right papers, they will really embarrass you. You have got the right papers. Can you see spirit? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Even you will never come to this. No one will never come to you. No one will ever come to you. That is the purpose. Even you, you will never travel. Even you, even you, you will stay at home and stuff. You must stuff here at home. You will never travel. Everybody must fight everyone. Never, even prayer will the demon. never stop. Lift her up even prayer will never stop us. Even prayer will never stop us. Who are you? Who are doing this? Even prayer will never stop us. You must kill each other. You must kill each other. So that other countries must burn you. You will never go anywhere. You must starve also. You must starve also. Can so you that we we'll see where we we'll get powers. All hear? those power energy with the hunger. Hunger and energy will never pray. Yes, yes. We are sick and okay. tired of you. All right, my traffic. Okay. Listen. Now you are hearing the aim of Satan. Because South Africa cannot be South Africa alone. So if you can hear this, you will understand what will happen. Okay, let's say Nigerians say, we don't want South Africans. Botswana say, we don't want South Africans. I mean, even Botswana say, we don't want other countries. Do you think you will survive? Do you think you will survive? This is the plan. This is the plan from Sata. Many people like me, especially we pastors that are known, we are not supported by our people. Amen. I'm telling you now, you must know that. We are not even supported by our people. Our people, they are supporting other people. So, this is the plan of the enemy. This is a right plan of the enemy. What will happen is, let's take I don't travel. I stay here. And you are poor. You, you can't get a job. Here you are destroying here. You are fighting each other here. Rani, hey, we don't want Zimbabweans. Hey, we don't want what what? Hey, you don't know, Ah, and you people can pray. Because oh, every day you must make sure that you eat five times per day. Now you are, you are supposed to eat twice per day now, in the evening. Or you eat once when you are going to sleep. Listen to this demo. What is your problem? My problem is you. Every church must come down. Everything must stop. Everything must stop. Everything must stop. Churches must close. Churches oh, must the, close. The main issue is church must close. Closed. All churches must close. All churches. The government must close churches now. So that we'll see who's going to pray for who. Who's going to pray for who. You think it's going where? You think where is it going? Our boundaries are weak. Everybody is just coming. Some of you, you go to our border. You go there, you, they, they put a stamp, you run back. When you kill, you just go. You disappear. You don't have fingerprints. You think what will happen? Now, this is a very good way. If we don't have good rules Amen. and governing, automatically this will result. Because you are going to fight someone who has entered your land. Not all people are wrong. There are some people, and why they are not surprised? Why they are not arrested? Do you think these people are so bad? No. Even our police. We don't have good governing. I mean, rules. We don't follow our regulations. And our borders are weak. Yeah. Can I tell you, if I want to go to Zambia now, if I'm going to, let, let me say Namibia, if I'm going to Namibia to preach, you won't preach there. 
you must enter by a visa. But in South Africa, you can just come here, you start a church there, you start a church there, you start a church there, you do whatever, or you just start here. Everybody agree. If we don't have right rules and regulations, these spirits want to take us there. The people at the border, they're not doing their work. The people in the government, they're not doing their work. Pastors, they're not doing their work. Even pastors, they're not doing their work. Christians, they're not doing their work. You understand? Satan can penetrate now. Now, people from outside, they come here. Others, they become rich in the right way. Not all people are bad. And those who are bad now, if we can find out, I'm telling you the truth now. <clears throat> Many shops that have been banned are South African shops. I'm telling you now. You'll find out. It's no longer issues of now you are banning shops of Nigeria. You are banning shops of World War I. You even find that they are banning every shop, whatever, whatever, everywhere. Why? Because you have to kill each other. The rent must go down. Very soon here, there will be issues of churches must go. These churches of people from outside must go. Churches must go. From there, close churches, close churches, close churches must go. So now, even us, we can't go outside. If they close these churches, we cannot also go and start church outside. So therefore, what kind of Christianity are we living? So this is something that Satan is bringing. In fact, uh, I wanted to also to hear this. Let's hear, what is your plan? It's to destroy all churches first. Everybody must surrender to us, must follow us. Everybody, that's why there will be killings. We'll kill so that you will hear and understand our language because we want blood. Blood must flow. Blood must flow. All right. So it is your plan. You want the blood to flow. Yes. Yes. Lucky enough, yes. you people here, by the grace of God, you are hearing that from the church. Yes. If I'm the president, I'm saying it now. If me, I'm the president, I was supposed to be saying, so please, affirm your documentation. Okay, affirm your documentation. Let's establish right laws. And then if I'm a president, I chase everyone who's working at the border and bring the right people to work to all our borders. All of you here who are working in the borders, come here, go and work in the farm. <laughs> we still give you the money that you were earning there in the border. Because, listen, all the police, whoever is found with corruption, whoever, there is this fine, and he must go to prison 30 years. I'm sure the president is hearing me. <laughs> there are some places when you want to, you know, I went to the bank, and this bank, you see, the person of the bank was helping me. I, I wanted to give him and to say thank you. He said, please, uh, come in my bag. Please, come in my bag. I came in my bag. I have to give him like I'm stealing. <laughs> because he's afraid of what will happen. If I'm a president, I say, 30 years you're in prison, if you're a police, and you're found in corruption, and everything you have will take away. And then, Whoever is found looting, 10 years in prison. We just built a, a big wall, a 
big wall around there and say, if I found Luti, any shop of someone, you enter there, we feed you once per day, once per day, you stay there for 45 years. <laughs> do you think they will do it again? No. Let's have rules. Let's have strong rules that deal with the people. How, how, on earth, how do you feel when you break the shop of someone, you come out with cold drink and you are running? <laughs> how do you feel you are running? Are you, not, are you not crazy? Cold drink like this. It says here, we put cameras there, there. Whoever is looting will search for you. 45 years in prison. And then that prison is that one. In fact, the government must start to build the prison of looters. If you do wrong, if you just do wrong and you kill someone, then Paul must come back. You kill someone and you just shoot someone and do like this, they must take you and hang you. If we bring something like there will be order. You won't kill someone, you won't hear about rape. You won't hear about anything. But if we are just doing like this, uh, Nigeria, South Africa, the what what? You people who are watching me, South Africans, chasing Nigerians, chasing what what, it won't help us. We, could, we can't succeed alone. We need right governing. And our president can do it. I'm telling you, our president can do it. So, I'm not a president. I'm a Christian. I will always pray for everyone. So, who are you? What kind of spirits are you? <laughs> I'm the ruler. Huh? I am the ruler of this earth. I control the earth. Everything underneath, above. You control the earth? Everything underneath, I rule. You don't have a name? I don't have a name. So why are you doing this in South Africa? South Africa must get banned. This earth must go down. Everything must shut down. What is, what is the reason? Everything must shut down. What is the reason? Everything must shut down. Everything must shut down. It will shut never shut down. down. Everything must shut in down. In Jesus' name. Everything must shut down. Everything must shut down. Can you stand up and say in the name of Jesus? This spirit that is working in South Africa, we command it to come out. We command it to come out. Can you command that spirit? Command that spirit. Leave that spirit. You spirit of Satan. Come on. In Jesus' mighty name. Sometimes you must also think, like a person like me, I think that I'm a traveler. That if I'm fighting other people who have traveled, what will happen? I was telling people, I was telling my brother in Namibia, I said, so how can I come to Namibia? How can I come to Namibia when people are doing like this? My brother said, Namibia's people, they are very good. I said, I know, but what do you want me to say to, to your people? If you look at the ministry with one eye, uh, you just say it's fine. But what about when God send you somewhere? Because God has to send you outside of the country. But if your church is here only, ah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. 